as we come to the close of the meeting, we, we do have comments from deans of uh, from Stanford and, and UCSF. First up is uh, Lloyd Minor. Lloyd is uh, dean of the Stanford University School of Medicine. He's been a tremendous supporter of the Searcy program, and we're, we're fortunate to have some uh, prepared comments from Lloyd. Good afternoon. I'm Lloyd Minor, dean of the Stanford School of Medicine, and I'm delighted to be part of this fantastic program on innovations in regulatory science. We are living through a renaissance of discovery and development in biomedicine. The convergence of rapid biomedical advances, technology, and information science promises to accelerate our progress in improving human health. And this development will continue to be predicated on multidisciplinary research, translation, and collaboration. Over the last two years, we've witnessed how partnerships between researchers, industry, and government can deliver historic, life-saving vaccines. Triumphs like these are only possible with regulatory science that can adapt to the rapid pace of innovation while still prioritizing patient safety. I believe conferences like this one will lay the foundation for many more successes. So thank you to the UCSF Stanford Searcy for organizing this important summit and gathering the right stakeholders to advance our shared goals. Looking ahead, as we rebuild from the devastation of COVID-19, we cannot settle for the status quo. The health disparities that have plagued our nation for generations only worsened during this crisis. And I'm glad today's summit included research talks on improving health equity. Just as it is critical that we advance the drugs, medical devices, and critical technologies of tomorrow, it is equally essential that these products are accessible to patients from all backgrounds. If we are purposeful, we can ensure that people will receive the same world-class care whether they live next to a hospital or miles from the nearest town, regardless of their race, gender, sexual orientation, or abilities. This must be part of our mission as healthcare leaders in the 21st century. And with the combined efforts of the great minds convened at this summit, it's a goal that's well within reach. I want to express my sincere thanks to today's speakers, presenters, and panelists. And thank you to the FDA and UCSF for your ongoing partnership on Searcy. I hope you all enjoyed the rest of your evening and that I get a chance to see you in person soon. Thank you. Our Searcy has two deans of two preeminent medical schools, and we've just heard closing remarks from Lloyd Young, Dean of Stanford University School of Medicine, and it's my great pleasure an honor to introduce Talmadge King, the Dean of the University of California, San Francisco School of Medicine. Talmadge. So thank you so much. It's been wonderful to participate in this conference today. It's the FDA's, FDA's role to protect the public health and, in, and enhance public health by speeding innovations and ensuring that medical products are safe and effective. But they cannot do this in a vacuum. As we've heard today, to fulfill the FDA's many missions, they seek continued input from and partnership with multiple sectors, academic researchers making scientific discoveries, industry scientists developing new medical products, clinicians who care for patients, as well as the patients themselves. The COVID-19 pandemic has shown us that it is essential that all stakeholders work together to bring safe and effective medical products to fruition as efficiently as possible. Importantly, the pandemic has shown us that we can indeed collaborate openly, quickly, and successfully. The UCSF Stanford Searcy, now in its seventh year, has facilitated interactions among scientists and scientists in industry, academia, and the FDA, as well as interactions with patients and the public. Today's Searcy Summit highlighted those cross-section interactions. And in, the FDA presence today was palpable with talks from current FDA scientists and center directors, 
and an informative panel discussion we just heard comprised of former and current FDA commissioners. I very much appreciated the participation of Congresswoman, Congresswoman Anna Esso, Esso who, who is chair of the House Subcommittee uh, on Health. Her call for our continued advocacy for science and her support for evidence-based health policies is much appreciated. I want to end by thanking the leaders of UCSF Stanford Searcy, Kathy Giacomini, Russ Altman, Kaldeep Singh, and Laura Esselman for demonstrating in this, in this summit the power of cross-sectional collaboration. I also want to thank the speakers and panelists that participated in this year's summit. And finally, I want to say that Lloyd and I both understand as deans of two uh, of the two medical schools, the important role we pay, play in continuing to build a pipeline of the best uh, physicians and scientists that can, that can take the lead or take the baton, uh, as, uh, as was stated in one of the speakers, by one of the speakers earlier, and continue this effort to, to make our country better, our healthcare better, and to improve public health. Thank you and have a great afternoon. Stay safe. Well, thank you very much, Talmadge. What a great day it has been. Um, I'd like to thank everyone and add my thanks to everyone for attending, give a few special shout outs. Um, first, to our speakers and panelists for your insightful comments and presentations. Second, to our fantastic organizing committee, Kul Dev Singh, Lawrence Lin, Andy Plump, Laura Esserman, and George Stangos. And finally, to FDA for sponsoring and supporting the Circes and for all of the work that you do on behalf of the public. Kul Dev would like to say a word about our sponsors and next year. Yeah, thank you so much, Kathy. It's been a pleasure to work with this team. Uh, you know, the idea is to have this meeting on live in person uh, with everybody uh, being able to have this collaboration and networking breaks and posters and the whole thing, which we were able to do in 2020. And I think we'll be able to do it in 2023. I'm uh, cautiously optimistic. Uh, I want to thank our sponsors for sticking with us uh, through this, these virtual years that we've had to, and hopefully the last one this year. And um, could, you, could you go to the next slide, uh, Kathy? And just uh, please save the date, Sunday, January 8th, 2023. We'll be meeting hopefully in person in San Francisco. Also, uh, there will be a post-meeting survey uh, that Lawrence will be sending out. And uh, please uh, please give us your feedback. We, this, this meeting is not a very old meeting. We've only been doing this three years. We want to get better. We want to hear from you. So please give us feedback. And, and most importantly, be well, be safe, and uh, look forward to seeing you sometime in 2022. And if not, hopefully in person in 2023. Thank you very much. Thank you.